Welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do a, um, a thumbnail for YouTube. Today I'm just going to be showing you exactly all the basics of it and um, how to continue doing it without it looking boring or without it looking exactly the same as others. So first of all you're going to be needing Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop you can probably do this on different softwares. I just don't recommend any of us. Um, yeah, I don't recommend any of us whatsoever. Unless you're using GIMP, which is a form of software, which is good for that anyway. Okay, so I'm going to be using 1080 by uh, 1920p. This is my example. Okay, so first of all, you're just going to be needing a. Uh, well, a you're going to be showing them in the picture what's going to be on there. So, as an example, I'm just going to be using this picture I found on the internet. It's Half Life. So I'm just going to place paste this right in right here. So if you hold Shift, if you hold Control T, you can uh, adjust the size of it once you place it in. If you hold Shift and Alt, then you can render it down a little bit so it's a good resolution size. So I'm just going to put it up here just for now. If you hold Control whilst you're uh, still hold, uh, still in this little section right here, you can adjust it down so it looks a bit more cool, I would say. So you can make it look like it's just slamming a little bit, you can make it just look like this. Once you do it, if you don't like it, just press that and press it on the fire. But just for mine, I'm just going to be rotating it. Okay, so on a new layer, straight after that, I'm going to be putting um, some fonts in. Uh, also, there's going to be a small background. I'm not going to be needing this background right here. With this, I'm going to delete it. I'll place a new layer and put this layer to the bottom. I'm going to be calling this background. It's just because um, when you get the background itself, the original one, you can't necessarily adjust it to certain stent, uh, certain resolutions and you can't make it look as good as you want it to be sometimes. And you also can't move it around just to uh, adjust it. So with the background, I'm going to keep that blank just for now. Alright, with this picture right here, go back to this. If I'm rushing a little bit, then try to uh, pause it. If you need any help with in the comments, uh, if I don't show something good enough, just say in the comments like I just said then. So, if I go over to this F right here, this is the effects. Just play around with this. I'm going to be putting a little drop shadow, first of all. Normal. This just makes it give it, it, give it a bit of a shadow effect to make it look more lively. Shadow is just a picture. Outer glow. You can just do this to be able to give it a bit of a highlight to show that it's such the uh, key figure within the image. Or you can just make it a bit. There we go. I'm gonna keep my name up. Um, Level and boss. This makes it look 3D. I personally use this for hearing of everything. Give it a bit of a shiny effect. And if you want, you can do a gradient overlay. For example, if I do this, put the opacity to that. And I can change this to a dark. So I can give it a bit of a uh, dark effect to it. Or I can, if I wanted to, I can just put a light so it looks... Actually, I'll try that. So if I do this... Let me get white. So I can make it so it looks like there's like a light source on it. I can do this. Because the shadow's over here right now. Right, I'm going to keep it like that. 
uh, I'll take a low and to change this to a, uh, a white because the background is going to be a multicolor. Um, I'm going to move on to the background right now. So if I quickly just press the background, uh, if I go to the select tool right here, and I can drag this across the entire screen so it looks like this. Um, I'm going to choose my color. I'm personally just going to choose red just for now. Uh, if you go over to this little box, right click, paint, and you can paint it. Press the magic tool and then get rid of that. It's not going to stay like this, don't worry. Uh, I'll make it look better now. If I now press this mask tool, this is this is why we need it to make a new layer because with the background we can't use the mask tool. Anymore. Press the mask tool and with the mask tool make sure you're highlighting down the box. You can go over to right click on this paint bucket, press gradient overlay and you can change it a little bit. So with mine I'm going to just press this right here. Also if you just put another layer on the bottom right here, you can, if you wish, you can make a different background as well underneath this. But I'm not going to be needing that. I'm just going to be doing this. So I go in here, so if I press this one, and you won't need the bottom background. I'm going to be putting red there, and I'm going to be putting a green here. So it gives it this multicolor look. So you don't have to actually do this if you want, you can just keep it the one colour. You can actually just play around with this too. You can even use defaults like this. Give it a gold look. But I'm just going to be doing this for my example today. Okay. So next we need the text. Also, we need the logo. I, I like to use put the logo in it just to show people that what it is. So, if you just put a picture right here, they're not going to know exactly what it is unless they read the um, name of it. So, forward, they know this could be Gary's mod rather than Half Life. Somebody playing on Gary's mod. Although it shows this right at the bottom, some mods on Gary's mod could actually have that too. So, I'm going to go over to here again and get the Half Life logo. But I'm going to try and find a transparent. In order to find a transparent one, we just press this right here. Search tools. That and then transparent. And okay, so just get this. It should be transparent when it comes out. You see the little uh, squares. Just drag it across. If it's too small, too big, anything like that, hold Control T, hold Shift and Alt. You don't have to hold Alt if you don't want to. You don't have to hold Shift if you don't want to. It just gives it more of a a realistic and keeps it the same shape so I'm just going to be putting that there I'm going to rotate it a little bit by holding control T rotate it the same angle as that okay keep that right there so um, next we need the text press this T right here or you can just press T on your keyboard for example Put this to a font that you want. I'm gonna pick not that one, but it's just sinister. Just pick on the size by the This will do. Let's go zombies. Alright, then in order to make it look a bit more or a, a lot better. Uh, you can just go to this effects right here and you can put drop shadows on it, you can put anything on it to make it look cool. I, I first will start off with battling the boss called Preedy. Go to drop shadow, give it a bit of drop shadow. Maybe get it too far down so people can read. Make sure that it looks good. Um, outer glow, I'm going to give it a white outer glow. Black, if you like. Red. 
green, blue, and I just, I'm probably just gonna keep it white. I'll keep it red. It looks good when it fades through that into green. Um, if you wanted to, you can just do this, uh, make this green. So it's exactly the same, but it doesn't look so good right there. Actually. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off anyway. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep it as a good black. Um, then you can go to this if you like. Just make this green. Give it a bit of the same over overlook. I'm gonna keep this like this. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of a uh, final look. Sure, after I've done that. And I'm gonna take the side that I want to keep this over here. And I'll switch places with the. <laughs> I want to switch places with this. So, by doing that, I can actually put the Half-Life symbol just up here. Actually, I'm going to control copy that. I'm going to put this down here. Do this on the slant. I can make this bigger now. How to kill zombies. Let's see if can breathe it. Uh, new layer. Actually, I don't need to do new layer if I just control J with this. Then I can write in this and say half life. Scratch it together a little bit, make it a bit wider, bigger. Change the color if I like. If I go into here, take the gradient off. Here we go. So, that's pretty much the basics of it. Uh, you can do it any way you like, you don't even have to do it this way whatsoever. There we go. So, that's pretty much it. Um, you could also add some things into the background of it. You can uh, you can add some more pictures, etc. What I also like to do, not just have one picture, but I also like to have two pictures. So, for example, like this. Actually, that's not even the correct one. I know this is completely different half life, but I'm just going to choose this anyway. This is half life 1. Let's put this right here. bit smaller than the original, pull that there. I can put this to the top, I press this, copy layers, paste layers, exactly the same. But I'm gonna take off the, that. I can also, if I wanted to, actually I prefer to do this, I'll put the, just take it off. Let's go zombies at the top. So it's overlapping them. And that's, that's it. That's pretty much all you need to know.